What and who is Nirvana? Nirvana's three guys from Puget Sound area, Olympia, Bainbridge Island, and Tacoma. Nirvana is a seven letter word. <laughs> and Nirvana is a, is a concept. <laughs> Nirvana is a three piece underground alternative grunge rock band from Seattle, Washington, or the outskirts of Seattle, Washington. And that's about it. I mean, that's what we are. Nirvana are uh, three people, me and my two friends, Kurt and Chris. And uh, Nirvana, well, I'll give you the meaning. It's kind of like, uh, it's like the freedom from like all pain and desire, you know, just a perfect place between peace and your mind, I guess. How would you describe your music and what you do? I would describe it more like a heavy pop. It's like a lot more of what we're writing is has a more pop sound, but we're you know we still want to maintain the heaviness. So I would say heavy pop. We play a very powerful, high energy type of rock and roll. We move around on stage a lot and uh, um, just scream <laughs> with an abandon, I guess. How did you first get involved with this sub pop label? By some luck, our guide, guardian angel pointed us in the direction of Reciprocal Studios and Jack and Dino, who, who knows Jonathan Poneman. And Jack and Dino turned Jonathan Poneman on to our tape and he thought it was really groovy. And he gave us a call and we made a single and then we made a record. And now this, we're here today. You recently finished a tour of Europe. What was that like? We received very well. I was surprised. People like give the underground more credibility there. There's not a big gap between like mainstream and underground. They respect the bands more. It doesn't matter if you're an underground band or a above ground band or a sea level band or a seaweed band or something. What was it like to play in Berlin right after the wall came down? It was a good show. It was a wild show, but it was mostly West Berliners because they don't, those poor Eastern people are, they're, been isolated for so long they don't really have a clue you know they're like they like Bon Jovi and and stuff like that you know so I think it's gonna be a few years before they catch on we were delayed for about four more hours because there were so many people coming from East Berlin into West Germany so um, it was we pretty much just experienced it on the highway and that's it we didn't get to see the wall we didn't get to see anything but the venue that night when we played but there's a lot of good feeling in the air a lot of good atmosphere. Right now Seattle is a real well-known music scene. What makes it so hot? I think because there happens to be a lot of good bands coming out of Seattle right now. A lot of good bands. And it's just by chance, I guess. It's luck, I don't know. There's Mud Honey, there's Tad, there's Soundgarden. There's there's so many bands out there. It's it's really special and uh, it it's it's odd. <sighs> it's just all these bands in the right place at the right time. What advice would you give to someone who's just starting out or wants to have a musical career? Mm. Just keep practicing and don't give up. Just never give up. Play as often as you can and be really dedicated and try to write good music and don't worry about um, the material ethics that go with music. It doesn't matter what you look like or or anything. It doesn't matter what your product looks like, it's what, what it sounds like. 